Hi, let's continue with our class and in this video, I will introduce to you the linear regression. So the following equation is the mathematical representation of a linear equation or a linear predictor function with the p explanatory variables and n observation. So as you can see that we got fx is equal to beta 0 plus the sum from j equal to 2 to p. So this p is the explanatory variables and we got the bj, we got the sum from bj which is b1 ham x1 and then we got a gop so we got b beta 2 x2 until and then you add them together and then we got until beta p xp so now let's explain what does xj and bj mean from the equation that we mentioned before so xj is the vector of column values explanatory variable and bj is a known parameters or coefficients j equal to 1 makes this equation suitable for the simple linear regression so there are many algorithms to fit this function onto the data so the most popular one is ordinary least squares which is ols and now before understanding the detail of the OAS, let's first let interpret the equation. We got while trying to fit the Beijing PM 2.5 data from the model building section of the symbol and multiple linear regression. So we got BM 2.5 per beta 0 plus beta 1 times the DEWB plus beta 2 times 10 plus beta 3 times LWS so if we substitute the values of the regression coefficient beta 0, beta 1, beta 2 and beta 3 from the output of the LM function we got, got the PM 2.5 which is this number so we got 161 plus 4 times the EWP plus minus 5.13 times 10 plus the negative 0 0.27 times LWS. So the preceding equation attempts to answer the question are the factors DEWP, TEM and LWS important for predicting the PM 2.5 level. So the model estimates how on average the DEWP, TEM and LWS values affect the PM 2.5 level. So for example, a unit increase in DEWP will increase the PM 2.5 value by 4.384196 and that is why we often call these coefficient ways. So it is important to note that if the R square value is low, these estimated coefficients are not reliable. And that is all in this video. So I hope you enjoy it and I will see you in the next video.